Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a schema markup plugin for WordPress called Schema Pro. Now in the Schema Pro review, I want to show you exactly what Schema Pro is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And just to let you know, if you're thinking about getting started, I've got a constantly updated link in the description, which is going to take you to any discounts or sales that are currently running. So make sure you check it out and you'll also be helping support the channel. So first of all, what is Schema Pro? It is a plugin that's specifically created to allow you to add schema markup to your website without actually adding a line of code. Now you can actually add schema into your website manually, but with Schema Pro, it automatically adds schema into your website so Google understands exactly what your content is about. Now for me, I chose Schema Pro personally because I wanted to have star ratings on my Google searches and that's exactly what Schema Pro delivered. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you exactly what Schema Pro can do and how I'm currently using it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start here at the Schema Pro website. What I wanna do is first of all, introduce you to some of the schema types that are available using Schema Pro. Then I'm also gonna show you some examples and some examples of my results as well just so you can understand how things are going. And then I'll go through the pricing and then I'll actually show you how you can install this. It's a very, very quick process. So first of all, we're gonna start with the different types that are available. Now, as you can see, review is the first one. This is what I use primarily. This is the whole reason I got this plugin and it works incredibly. But there's also loads of other things that it can provide. Things like recipes, books, courses, products, services, uh, job postings, as well as FAQs, which is a massive one, massive one. If you can include these types of schema markups into your website, Google's gonna understand what your content is about a lot better, and it's actually going to help improve your rankings. To, to give you some examples of the types of schemas that work, let's just say I was looking for some Nike Air Max reviews. If you go onto the page and scroll down a little bit, you will notice that there is the star rating under this particular one here. Now, to be honest, when you go past these first three, they're all a little bit of a blur. And then as soon as the star ratings come out, it breaks it up nicely. And you can see these ones a little bit more clearly. That's the whole reason that I actually got Schema Pro was to get that whole stopping factor when someone's scrolling, they see the star ratings and they stop and have a look. Now, to give you an example of some of the articles that are actually uh, doing this, for me, if you just search up my website, you can see in Google, you can see all these different types of listings I have. And this is for literally all of the reviews that I've done. Now I review of my, a lot of my favorite products, that's why they've got high ratings. Um, but the good thing about it too, is with Schema Pro, once you actually update an article, it's going to look like it's a fresh piece of content. It's not going to look like it's just an old piece of content that's never been updated. Some of the schema inside of Schema Pro actually notifies Google that this has been updated and it's actually going to give you uh, an updated sort of look. Another type of schema as well is the recipe schema. As you can see, once again, it's all come back here. There's reviews there. Um, so everything looks pretty good. So it's a very nice piece of um, schema. And another one they also have is frequently asked questions, right? People also ask, and you can see different types of websites listed here as well. So all of these types of schemas are mainly injected instantly once you, uh, once you install it properly, which I'll go through in a moment. But before we get into it, I just wanna show you the pricing. As you can see at the moment, they have a current special going on. Once again, if you use the link in the description, it's going to take you directly to uh, different types of sales that they have. If they have any, there's not always gonna be one, but if there is, this link will take you directly there. Plus you'll also be helping support the channel. And I thank you very much. Now there's two types of pricing that you can get with Schema Pro. You can either get annual or lifetime depending on what you want and you can also just get schema pro or you can get the growth bundle which is actually what i have as i also use uh, ultimate add-ons for elementor and i also have astra pro so if you just want schema you can look at paying 63 dollars per year or if you want to get it at a one-time price you can just pay 249 dollars one time and that's going to be yours for lifetime for unlimited website usage so it's very powerful especially if you run a lot of different uh, websites as well so let's get into it so at the moment this is actually my settings inside of schema pro it's really simple to do right um, and i'll go through the different bits and pieces in a moment but what I'm gonna do is actually show you how to set it up. So I've 
installed Schema Pro on another website that I'm starting to build on. It's my personal website, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually use. So first of all, I start on uh, the website information once the uh, plugin is installed, and you come down to Start uh, start setup wizard right click on that and it's going to ask you for some basic information so first of all click on start general what does this website represent so you want to choose one i've just chosen personal website website owner's name and i've also uploaded a logo next it's going to ask your social profiles so that's a really simple task it all helps with schema um, and google understanding that you you know, it's not just a standalone website, it actually has other uh, sort of presence on the internet as well. So it's always good to add these in. If we go next again, it's going to say the different types of schemas. So what you wanna do is find your about page. Um, I actually don't have one on this website, that's why it isn't there. There's also a contact page, so you wanna search up your contact page, choose that. Um, it default goes to your main menu, and then you've also got these different breadcrumbs and site links. Now breadcrumbs are these little bits and pieces. So if you scroll down here, let's see if I can find one on the fly. Um, like these little bits here, these are breadcrumbs that are added into Google as well as this little drop down thing. So all of these are here if you ever want them, um, just by ensuring that this little setting is checked. Um, so it's super easy to do. And if you click on next, surprise, surprise, you're actually done. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and create your first schema. So what I generally did for my personal one is come to review, click on next, and then it's going to ask, you know, uh, where do you wanna actually add the schema? So what you wanna do is either you can choose it for all posts if all you do is reviews, or you can actually choose specific pages, posts, and archives. So either you choose it by each individual post or by the archive, let's just say it was for um, uh, like shoes, like you could obviously have your archive as shoes, whatever you put your categories into, you just choose it in here and click, there's also an and rule if you want, or you can exclude it from different ones as well. So it's super easy to do. Just for an example, I'll choose one. Um, I'll choose one singular only, just to give you an idea of how it works. Click on next, and now every time that has the singular post for sales funnels, it's going to have the review schema added. So it's super easy. All you got to do is structure your content uh, in a way that it should already be done. Now, when you come down, it's going to give you some different types of schema fields that you can fill in. Obviously, each one is uh, specific to the type of schema that you add. So what you wanna do is choose here, review item type, and I always had software, so I left it as software application. Uh, for the title, I just left it as title. And then what I actually did was came down and put all of these uh, next ones as none. Now the reason I chose none was because I wanted to actually add these in manually um, once I'm editing my once I'm editing my post, just so I know I've put them in the right thing. Obviously, um, there isn't one that sort of fits the type of, you know, the type of content that I'm trying to add. So if I leave it as none, I can go afterwards and edit it. But apart from that, that's all you really need to do inside of this. And then go ahead and click update. And what it's going to do is add all of these different schema fields at the bottom of your post. So let me show you what that actually looks like. I'll go to one of these articles, click on this one, say, um, and then I will edit it and I will show you exactly what it sort of looks like. So as you can see here, the Schema Pro re software review uh, has been added now what i can actually do i haven't updated this this is one of the first ones i used with it so i wasn't quite sure what i was doing back then but what i would do is come here put in software application price click on the x and it becomes available i would then type in 47 and the, the number is now been added now I always recommend only using one app, uh, one rating. So if you're using your personal review rating, you can add it inside of here. Or if you wanna use the software application rating, then you can use it inside here. Never use two or else it's gonna conflict and it's not going to work. So for example, if I wanted to use software application operate, operating system, I'd uh, click on the X and then type in here, say web browser, right? It could be Chrome or whatever. Um, just add that in there and it goes ahead and adds it. And apart from that, a default fills in everything else except for the ones with none. So a good one to always add is the currency. Um, Google loves it when you add in currencies. So I'd usually put in the price, the currency, uh, if there's an operating system, if it's Windows, Mac, or you know, a web browser, and then I'm pretty much done. I'll go ahead, click on update, and then that has now been updated. And then next time you actually go and have a look, it will be updated. So that's how simple it really is. So let's just go back and have a look at some other different types of schemas that are available just to show you um, some of the fields that will be added. 
So as you see, as soon as you change the schema types to this one to movie, it's going to bring all these different types of tags that you can add. Once again, if you have a recipe, it's going to bring in some different types of categories, the cuisine, calories, and as much as if you can add as much information to all these fields as possible, it's going to tell Google that you are sort of a comprehensive article or a comprehensive review, and it's going to give you the best possible chance of ranking. Of course, your article also has to be really good as well. Local business, this is going to give you your telephone image, everything like that. And all of these are massive, massive uh, helps when trying to rank, especially on things like Google My Business as well. So that's basically uh, Schema Pro. It's super easy to use. Once you've done it once um, and everything's sort of set up, it's literally just another 20 second thing you do at the end of each blog post to help rank your articles even better. So that's it. What I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen one more time. I just want to talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Schema Pro. Now, as you can see, it is an extremely easy plugin to install and it takes literally a few minutes to set up and you're good to go. And then every time you write an article, it's gonna take maybe another 10 to 20 seconds to fill out a few extra fields and you're gonna get much higher traffic and engagement from the Google search engine. Now, Schema Pro and adding schema markup to WordPress websites is an absolute must, especially with all these new algorithms from Google happening. Google just wants to make sure it's putting out the best content to its users as possible and adding schema markup to your website is going to let Google know exactly what your article is about, how much research has been done and it's going to help categorize it and rank it better. So. I highly recommend checking out Schema Pro and I hope you enjoyed the Schema Pro review. Once again, if you want to look for the best possible price, I've left the link in the description which is going to be updated all the time and you'll also be helping support the channel. But apart from that, that was Schema Pro. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next one.